A reader asks, what is the best remedy when you have a cold? Well, when you're thinking about the best remedies, there's a couple things to keep in mind. The first is that you can't actually cure it immediately with anything we take. So really what you're talking about is either getting rid of it a tiny bit sooner or making your symptoms better. Either acetaminophen, the most common name for that is Tylenol, or ibuprofen are the best for treating kind of the aches and pains. That works in both adults and kids. It turns out that ibuprofen is a little bit better for fevers than acetaminophen is. The other thing to keep in mind with kids, they will get a benefit from honey. Uh, they have to be over the age of one. There's some worry about botulism, but after the age of one, kids can be given a teaspoon of honey at bedtime, and that will sometimes help the cough that occurs at bedtime. <laughs> Adults actually do get a benefit from over-the-counter cold remedies. About one in five will say they globally feel better because they take that medicine. So vitamin C, it's interesting. There's a lot of talk about it, a lot of popularity, but unfortunately, not a lot of great evidence that it has a big effect. It certainly doesn't work at all when you take it at the time of a cold. What about preventing it? Well, there's been a ton of research on preventing uh, the cold by using vitamin C. If you looked at how many colds you'd have to have before you could prevent one, you'd need to, on average, have about 30 colds before you would dodge one cold because you took vitamin C every day. So that means for an average adult, that's 10 to 15 years of taking vitamin C every day to maybe avoid one cold. Ginseng, or one of the popular names for that is cold FX, has really inconsistent results. Zinc has only been studied to prevent common colds in kids, and in that it did show a benefit. But the interesting thing is, uh, for the actual treatment of common colds, it doesn't seem to work in kids. We'd all love to avoid uh, getting the common cold. The best thing probably to do is what you've already heard and what your uh, school and family and everyone else tells you, and that's to wash your hands regularly and avoid contact with those with the cold.